Thing. There we go. Oh, there you go. There we go. There was a request for Jace yeah. to look a little smaller. Look at this. I go, who's this midget next to me? <laughs> <laughs> Joey's actually been sawing the legs off of my chair. Yeah. We, so, filing it slowly every week. I got the Chinese surgery where they, they broke my legs and slowly <laughs> yeah. bolted them. Yeah, yeah. Joey's Separated a geisha now. Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you disappeared to South Dakota for like three months. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm just going on vacation. Yeah. yeah no, I don't have fiberglass rods throughout my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? massive scars i'm not no no no. i i I fell down a hill they put you in a chinese robe you were jacking off everybody in south dakota i'm not training to please leaders what are you talking about joey Joey. your feet are bound (laughs) joey i'm pretty sure your ankles are broken i go no that's just the new look it doesn't doesn't it, it takes like two years to recover from that right I, I don't know. The I, illegal Chinese growth surgery. I heard that. I heard it like uh, Rogan talked about it at some point. I don't. I haven't like dug into it. Yeah. Is that um, when Rogan had that that Asian lady that was like a liar from like North Korea? On he had this like Asian the this, hot like, lady, the North Korean yeah, she, lady with giant tits yeah. that was like <laughs> saying that she lived off like crickets for like five years, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, "How do crickets grow fucking knockers like that?" <laughs> 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 yeah, though, can you imagine how big her tits would have been if she had American milk? <laughs> can you imagine if she had a six dollar burger Some to USDA feed off of beef yeah, on the, those hogs? The pure genetics of those milky tits. <laughs> Joey, to, will you hit the light? Uh, I I think we look quite. The yeah, camera, I think the, Joey finally has the power now. The in this camera's situation. not really <laughs> focusing though. It's more. You look kind of like Jack Nicholson at the beginning of The Departed when he's in dark yeah. on purpose. Devin, <laughs> Devin kind of looks like he's auditioning for the uh, the Sandman show. Yeah, I, I don't know what I am. Right <laughs> now. By the way, that, I shaved my face just because that made it's it worse. So hot. No, it look has at it to now. settle in. Look at it now. It settled no, in. Look, look at your face. Yeah, it, I look better. You look better. There's a it's shadow. warmer. You look. This tanner. looks like when it's Breaking Bad in Mexico. It's like the fucking weird sepia shit. You mean professional lighting in Breaking Bad? <laughs> That's yeah. not professional. Okay, now That's lighting. It looks like a beheading video. Uh, no, on ISIS. let it yeah. settle. Watch the camera settle. Did you see oh, it, it just settle? Settled. It did just settle. There mm. you go. Jesus, you and your ODD. Unbelievable. You're not getting enough puss, are you? No. Oh, we can't go down this train yeah, again. Yeah, not yeah. again. Let's make just make fun of how Devin looks more. I know. Come on, look at me. I look like a completely different person. It's yeah. actually kind of insane. It is also funny how much uh, just doing a podcast regularly will just turn you into a psychopath. Because I walked in and saw that I was like, I'm not even going to bring it up now, just so we can. <laughs> yeah, you got to burn seven minutes. Yeah, that's how it goes. We could all walk in. Somebody can walk in like fresh off like a horrific car accident. We're like, I'm going to wait till the pod starts. <laughs> Make fun of this guy. Yeah, I have a knife sticking out of my back. Yeah. I don't know it. Oh, you're paralyzed now, Jace. Oh, Jace is paralyzed. <laughs> Yeah, when you see him, though, you're just like, oh, my God, what happened? Oh, anything you need, I'm there for you. Yeah. Podcast stars, like, you no-legged faggot. Yeah. <laughs> old, old crippled crab over here. Yeah. So, what a week. Yeah, it's been... A- this has been exciting <laughs> stuff. Let's get right into it. Okay. Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears face child sexual abuse allegations. <laughs> Her lawyer responds. <laughs> Out the gate, already hilarious. Did you yeah. guys see any of the video at all? No. No, I didn't know there was All right, well, video. let's. I'll read a little bit of the article. Yeah, can you play it? Or is it. I have it. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Hold on. I mean, I'm, I'm not even sure if we're allowed to play it. I, mean, I know. I was, that's what I was going to say. Is there agents going to like bust through the door and <laughs> send us? I mean, we're going to look like Stephen Paddock's brother. <laughs> Uh, Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears have been accused of grooming and molesting two underage children for a funny or die sketch in 2013. I'd rather, I'd rather just get regular molested. I know. You're like, just have some guy pick me up in the woods. The funny or die thing is probably worse than the molestation. Yeah. I'm also just imagine. Like, can you put it, upload it to college humor at least. <laughs> imagine losing your whole like life over a funny or die sketch in yeah. 2013. A lawsuit obtained by TMZ alleges that Haddish coerced a 14-year-old girl into starring in a sexually suggestive video uh, in which she taught her how to imitate performing fellatio. The girl claims her seven-year-old brother was taken to a home where the sketch titled Through a Pedophile's Eyes. Yeah, that's always something you want to finish. Uh, uh, any sketch like that, somebody sends you the draft. You're like, I'm in. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> you buying me tacos? Okay, yeah, yeah I'm in. Also, the, the parent of child actors is like, oh, what do you want my kids to be in? Right. Right. Through the eyes of a pedophile. Okay, yeah, we'll bring them over at six. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds irreverent. Also, yeah. the parent well, I'll of- be right there. <laughs> probably not even child actors, just like 
any kids in the neighborhood that Aries Spears and Tiffany Haddish could get their hands on. They like, <laughs> you know, walked up to some ladies' house. It's a uh, Shakisha Maxwell and uh, <laughs> and Patrice if he survived the stroke. Yeah, <laughs> I doubt. Like, Let's drop our kids off over there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and so uh, here's here's the video. It's yeah. kind of here we go. Ah, oh, Jesus! Look at Aries Spears. By the way, this is Aries. This is the best. Like, like, like. Yeah, this is the best thing. To best have publicity he's got. Yeah, I know. This, which is crazy. What the fuck? He's like, yo, that pedophile shit's finally taken off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, the sketch is <laughs> killing me. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you need anything, just call me. Okay? So Tiffany Haddish is dropping a kid off, and Aries Spears has a cigarette in his mouth, and he's got a robe on. Mm -hmm. All right now. And that's a naked kid. That's a naked. <laughs> that's a naked. Wait, seven. really? They're covering they up his body up. with oh, a Jesus. with a puppy image. Jesus. They're gonna face like real time. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> look at Aries Spears. This is so. Look at his eyes. <laughs> he's doing the Keenan Thompson eyes. <laughs> Can't even be original while he's been molesting a kid. You're like, Tiffany, do you think it's a good idea? Like, do you think it's okay to force this seven-year-old to be in a pedophile sketch? She's like, they ready! <laughs> <laughs> they ready! <laughs> this is a naked kid. And he's winking at him. Yeah. And it's on his website. It's on harryspears.com. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> now the kid's just, like, scrubbing the floors with the no clothes on? kid's, like, playing with toys on the floor. Aries Spears is wa he's reading the paper, but he cut out two holes in the paper for his eyes. My mind's it's playing. My mind's telling me no. It was it was gonna, but they didn't. Who's <laughs> that song? Also by a pedophile. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of also doing his Bill Cosby impression. He is. He's got the gray hair, and he's doing like the oh, well, how's it going? And Tiffany said she would she would want it. She wanted to work with Bill Cosby. Really? Yeah. After everything happened, she's like, ah, he he could put he could give me a drink. <laughs> She said all that. All the signs were here. Yeah, yeah. She just loves pills. All the signs were here. Yeah. She tried to fly to, uh, instead of Little St. James, she's going to Little Rick James, folks. Very good. <laughs> Woo! Hey, we still got it. <laughs> Woo! Come on. Get that Patreon up. <laughs> 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 she's just doing she's doing all the entertainment on uh, the Lolita Express yeah. Tiffany Haddish okay. <laughs> this my black sexual offense y'all okay oh you like one of them like not adults <laughs> you one of them little motherfuckers that like the, there's a law against and shit yeah yeah they're on the Lolita <laughs> the Lil Lita Express. Lil Lita Express. <laughs> oh, man. It's just Soul Plane. Yeah. The 2004 hit Soul Plane. God. That's, they're done. Yeah, it's not great. Her career's over. Yeah. Tiffany Haddish can can no longer star in terrible comedies. Yeah, for there's five no years. more, not going to be any more movies where it's Tiffany Haddish's first time in a nice yeah. hotel. <laughs> That's the whole plot. Just yeah. Tiffany Haddish walking into a nice lobby, like, damn. Right. No movie where Tiffany has just hang out with Billy Crystal for yeah. some reason. Did yeah. You, what's with your little white ass? Yeah, what's with your little Jew ass? You look neurotic and shit. <laughs> you need to chill out, baby. You need to chill out. Why are you guys fucking with Palestine yeah. like that? You're so small. You look like my type if you didn't have that beard. <laughs> and you were seven. <laughs> They forced the kid to like like fake suck the dick of a subway sandwich in the sketch. Jesus, like he's he's sucking a sandwich like it's a dick. Yeah, yeah. and they had to they had to show him. <laughs> they had to show a child, and they kept the kids away from each other, like because they didn't. They separated the kids. They separated them, like they're illegal. That's children, a sketchy tactic immigrants. where it's like. Because cause, uh, if you're separating the kids, that means you're like, well, the older kid probably will know something's weird. Like, let's get them separated nice. that we, we can abuse them exactly. better. You go, uh, I like that Joey came in. He's like, red flag right there. I just want to. <laughs> yeah. You go, you go well, you go, the 14 year old will maybe think I'm an adult. So yeah. I'm proud to be a part of this. But yeah, the, he, my younger sister, well, my younger brother. Is or will you just young. get them together and they start talking. They're like, hey, is it kind of weird that, you know. 
Yeah. Ari Spears is dick exactly. is out it's right a, now. I feel right. like it's a classic abuse. Like the, they're they're going to start talking about how this is weird if they're right. together. Yeah. Like, like, like get up, separate them, and then get weird. The yeah. kids, the kids are like, they're such hacks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you see Ari's dude go, go on that Lizzo rant? <laughs> <laughs> Called they're, her the shit emoji. That shit was whack. Yeah. <laughs> the kids are in the other room reading the script. They're like, this is really sophomore. <laughs> this is redi- this is a horrible sketch. Yeah. <laughs> I, your black bod mitzvah or whatever that special was was terrible. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. The script is written in crayon. It looks like fucking like one of Charlie Kelly's maps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just the kids going up and they were like, listen, I'm a I'm a trained actor. I've done the stage. All right, what is my motivation? What is yours? I don't understand. <laughs> it's not based on reality, and that's where all good comedy comes from. <laughs> Ari Spears is like, just play with those toys. Get naked. Get buck naked. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Ari's yeah, just on the Ari's on the stand panicking and just goes into a shack impression, just panics and does old stand up for two thousand three. <laughs> <laughs> the judge is sentencing him, and he's he's just yeah doing a wacky character. Yeah, crossing his eyes and going, I didn't do anything with the kids. I didn't do nothing, judge. How could someone with this many rings do something with these kids, judge? All right, Mr. Spears, we told you 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 were not Shaq. Did you- Chuck? Did Chuck put you up to this? <laughs> Is this Chuck's fault? There's also a lot of weird, like, even with the sketch, the fact that they chose a Subway sandwich, like Jared. Oh, yeah, the, another pedophile. It's, like, it's like a bunch of, it's like There's fucking, so many dog whistles so many, in this. It's a, it's a web. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really spun a pedo web They're here. so retarded, they've done Illuminati shit, not on purpose. Yeah, they didn't yeah. even mean to, <laughs> but now it looks like they run the pedophile black Illuminati. Right. Are they the first uh, known famous black pedophiles? I mean, I guess it's not proven um, I, yet, alleged. I guess you could say... R. Well, Kelly. R. Kelly. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Michael yeah. Michael Jackson. Well, he's Jackson. a white pedophile. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson's yeah. a... Uh, yeah. Michael Jackson had, had so many numbers, he had to turn white. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I yeah, this is... I'm, I'm a little... This is like the whitest <laughs> thing I could do. Tiffany had is just Jew, half Jewish, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. She's not the, she's not the sharpest. Is Haddish, yeah. is that a Jewish name? Uh, I don't she's know. She's an Ethiopian Jew. Apparently. Oh. Yeah. She probably just said that to get into Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> she, yeah, she was. She was. Try, she thought she was saying her last name was Hasidic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tiffany Hasidic. Yeah. <laughs> How did she? That shit you dip in the salt water during Passover. <laughs> Man, yeah, they're they're finished. I don't see how you come back from this. Even if they're not charged in court, it's mm. really like, especially with the black community, black people do not have time for this. Not for pedophiles. They don't no. have time for black pedophiles. No. Okay. <laughs> well, they do not have the time for this. This is like creepy, like white, white people shit. Yeah. Yeah. They can't go on Def Jam comedy anymore. Right. You're getting booed yeah. out of the Apollo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got kids in my house. <laughs> underage. <laughs> yeah. Ari can't go on a uh, local Chicago comics podcast anymore. He's fucked. Yeah. What was he doing before? Well, that's the thing. He was yeah, already the, sort of done. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. Tiffany Haddish w- was had a uh, big career. She had a oh, big yeah, career, she, and she was getting you know everything. She was ma- in the car massive counter. Movie. Paul Schrader just yeah. put her in a real movie. Yeah, she, she's bad well, in it. I mean, but. that was that was like one of her uh, lower tier yeah, movies. Known roles. She was in big blockbusters, yeah. no, and now sure. people like that, they're like, "Why would we take the risk?" She on her? was in they're, Angry Birds too, you guys. Yeah. She was. <laughs> yeah, she had a voice in that. Yeah. Well, she was in that movie where like it was a uh, girls like, trip. Girls trip. Girls trip. Yeah. That was huge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, she was in stuff like that. Now, now those kinds of people are just going to be like, why? Yeah. Why put her in it? There's, gonna, a, there's a lot of other people like her that we could, you know. Yeah. Black cast. people on Twitter already like don't like her. Like a lot of yeah. people are all happy that they're like, I never understood why she was like funny or big. Like, mm-hmm. like I knew she was up to something. She's also had like crazy shit out there. Like I think during the pandemic, she was you know fucking. But she, she went was, on some dude on Clubhouse, some doctor talking about COVID. She, she did something. weird holistic sh- sh- shit. Like she like was like drinking her own pee to like. <laughs> oh like, really? I some oh, something she got like into that? that. No, but it was something along those lines. She was. <laughs> no, I heard. <laughs> She people were doing that was like a trend online. <laughs> no, people do drink their own piss. That's a thing. Yeah. That's a thing. Like, it's just women, funny to women put keep that on. drinking their own piss. Yeah. Too. yeah. Like, it helps their skin or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Lyoto Mishida, a champion MMA fighter, used to drink his own piss, and he probably still does. It's like a Japanese tradition. Base- baseball players used to pee on their hands to toughen them up. 
gives you like calluses so you can I, uh, I find it to be disgusting I feel, I feel like water would work just as well you know it's not got the it's <laughs> not the got the, 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 the minerals stink. in it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah real coffee piss yeah, yeah. dark brown oh, I piss. love a coffee piss <laughs> sometimes my piss smells like smoke I mean, I, what the hell is going on there I, I, I do gotta fix something inside me I do have when you're so dehydrated you're like I can, my piss like reeks to me yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. my piss smells worse than my shit to mm-hmm. me right now yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. especially right now with how hot it is yeah this is like smell your balls through your pants. Season. <laughs> you guys had that lately? I've had uh, my. I sniffed my own bag on accident, and it was like I got tear gassed. <laughs> <laughs> like I almost started puking. My eyes were watering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start pouring milk all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you ate a wing that was too You're hot. Like, you Joey turned into baked in Alaska. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just guys running out of January 6th. Smell my own balls. Uh, I smell my own balls. <laughs> Worse than napalm. Yeah, it's like the same. It's just the, this is that, that the dark days of the summer in L.A. where it's like all the headlines are like, we're going to turn your power off. Yeah, yeah. People will come into your home and beat you to death. <laughs> Mayor Garcetti's like, watch out. People might yeah. run into your home and kill it's get, you. It's getting hot out there. We're going to round up the Jews <laughs> yeah. and the Japanese. They're like, we're not saying we're running out of water, but we're not saying we're not running out of water. <laughs> I got in. I'm, I've been stealing Ben's Tesla all week because he's in Europe. Yeah, I didn't ask permission. I'm just still. I'm still on it. <laughs> it's parked outside. People are probably rummaging through it. Um, <laughs> it's, but it's. I got a warning today. I got on the Tesla. It's like, by the way, don't charge between four and nine p.m. because we're doing the. They do those accelerated rates where they're like, don't use your electricity between four and nine p.m. We're going to charge you double. Oh shit! For your electricity that. for the car. Or There's for, an electricity bill for a Tesla. Well, I mean, you plug you plug it into the house, oh, right. so it's coming oh, out of the house. Okay. Yeah. But what if just the lights are on at the house? Are they charging extra between four and? I nine think two? they are. Are you fucking kidding? And me? that's why because I've on? been running it at like fifty at their house all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to bankrupt these. The only family I have. <laughs> Where are they? Ben's in. They're in Austria. Yeah, they're, I don't want to give exact locations. Oh, you right, never yeah, know. No, I'll yeah. give it. Somebody they flew to Vienna. I have the hope. <laughs> I have the uh, hotel. Uh, the hotel. Uh, they're at uh, number uh, room number eighty five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a low hanging balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Just some retarded Italian guy. Trying yeah, to- <laughs> huge, huge Tim Dillon fan. Yeah, Italian the one. Tim the one yeah, the one basement dweller in all of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Ben's Giuseppe trying to Giuseppe Fortunito. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I am a I am a Roth the child. Uh, I, I love it. I am a Pepe. Uh, I am a Pepe. Yeah. <laughs> the page. Uh, where is it, me? It's a combo, no one. <laughs> I am. A- I swear to God, if another guest come on the Tim Dillon show, I kill myself. <laughs> the uh, the Airbnb is a classic. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off the Colosseum, which is the only tall building in Italy. <laughs> we not build buildings. We not do AC because we are lazy, dumb, fat people. <laughs> they really are such idiots. <laughs> They're nice. morons. What a bunch of pea brain bricklaying pieces of shit. <laughs> Dude, they eat oil. They eat oil and cheese. <laughs> They're fucking special needs. I'm Italian and I love it. It's my favorite food and I love the culture. But mm. what a bunch of shitheads. Yeah, yeah. No, just, seriously. Their culture is just cat calling. <laughs> they think that's like acceptable. They, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even when you go to Little Italy, like in New York, it's like Disneyland for Italian people, and yeah. it's like completely okay to go along with the worst aspects of Italian culture. Mm-hmm. So you just you see women, the guys just run out of stores like. Come yeah. here, let me yeah. rape you. Yeah. Ah, come on, mama mia, let me, I need to rape. Ma, she won't let me do the rape. Oh. <laughs> come here, sit on my lap. Take a seat on my lap, uh. on my lap, uh. right here. Oh. Why don't you let me rape you with a bigger meatball? Uh. Come on, my cock is in uh, the meatball. <laughs> like diner. <laughs> I cut the hole in the meatball. <laughs> my cock can come out. He, he just puts marinara and spaghetti noodles on his balls. Yeah. And it's just like, it's a meatball. It's, it's a pu- pu- It's an angel head of pube. <laughs> oh, no. It's a bell. I t- toss my dick against the wall to see if it's thick. <laughs> to know it's ready. I have a rape of women this yeah. week. Uh, but taste. you know, Amanda Knox is the real problem. <laughs> we come from a long line of Sicilian rapists. <laughs> my grandpappy Giuseppe was the greatest rapist in all of Sicilia. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about you dirty Americans, you don't know how to get the cement on the brick perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> Shut up and make our walkways. <laughs> 
<laughs> Make me a chimney and get the fuck out, Dummy. okay? Yeah, shut up and be really fit till you're 27, then yeah. be the fattest guy who ever lived. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dumbass. With your chains. <laughs> you dress like idiots like me. <laughs> I hate you. I've dedicated my entire media consumption my, to you. My whole media consumption is all Italian people. I, I, I basically am a brony for Italian culture, but you're a bunch of idiots. I told you that the, I was in New York um, the year Jeter um, retired, and it was his last game. He got that walk-off single. Yeah, they're just losing their minds. Dude, I was literally like, I was walking into delis, and you just heard, like, <clears throat> just dipshit got backwards hats big muscly sweaty guys being like he was just he knew it was his time yep he just sees the moment <laughs> one of the most hated players in baseball. yeah yeah gave every celebrity in the world herpes <laughs> yeah didn't he statistically one of the worst short stops of his yeah. era is yeah. he really yeah, yeah. statistically oh, one of fuck. the he's like statistically one of the cool highlights and hitter yeah, I know. He caught that ball, and then he jumped. Yeah, and then yeah threw the it. jump was so nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was like his Air Jordan he, he's That was the first time baseball players ever jumped in a game. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I, I didn't know we could do that. He didn't even need to do it. He just did it to be like, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was his logic moment. I'm still black. <laughs> Derek yeah. Jeter jumping. I'm biracial. <laughs> Throwing the ball. Yeah, Derek Jeter going, who can relate? <laughs> who can relate? <laughs> I, saw, he, I, saw, I tried watching part of the Jeter documentary, and it's it's... I love Derek Jeter. Mm -hmm. I respect him, you know, tremendously. But it is. It's just a bunch. It's a guy getting a bunch of ground balls. Yeah. yeah. It's boring as hell. He's yeah. a great media professional, but he's a, he's a terrible uh, uh, club owner. He's like run the Marlins yes. into the ground. Oh, he does. He runs he, the Marlins. He took over the Marlins. He fired every good player they had. It like has like not like gotten any good trades or anything. He's, yeah. He's like if they made Robert Ori the face of the league because of like major moments. Right. Right. That's, kind of. That's yeah. His honestly. Legacy is major like a very moments. decent player yeah, right, yeah. who. Yeah. So he really, I didn't know he was statistically that bad. Well, he just, he yeah. won four World Series in his first five years. So everybody's like, oh, the Yankee, he's the Yankee Clipper. Right. right was now. he on he lucky made, teams or was he good no, at hitting? He, he was always amazing. Uh, okay. Yeah, he had amazing teams. Then he also just shined in huge moments, even though like. He's clutch. Let's say he'd be like. He did have big three. clutch moments. Yeah, he'd yeah. be like 0 for 3 in error. But then right when they need a home run, he hits one. Well, that's, that is greatness. You know, yeah. you, could, you could have. Just yeah. Rise, stats, rise to the moment. Yeah. could be whatever, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. New York. New York New City. New York City, baby. Yeah. A-Rod. A-Rod. My grandpa was calling A-Rod Gay-Rod for 15 <laughs> years. And I loved him. <laughs> and he only played well in one playoff series. Yeah, one playoff series. Now I love him. I love Gay-Rod. My, my, gay my, <laughs> my father didn't even get mad at John Rocker when he said that shit about New yeah. York. He agreed. <laughs> hey, we here in New York, we're pretty quick with it, okay? How about this? Tony Romo, Tony Homo, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! Hey, New Yorkers, oh. we come together in a crisis. We come together in a crisis here in New York, unless you're Dominican, yeah. Puerto Rican, <laughs> Chinese, yeah. any, Polak, Jew. Any other situation, stay segregated, but in a yeah. crisis. I do even love that lazy, they're like, listen, you think New Yorkers are the mean, but the day two planes hit the biggest building in the city, we're kind of nice to each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a claim to say. what you will. We act decent for 24 hours and we start beating up Iraqis. <laughs> <laughs> I found the Akiway kid. I fucking pushed his face into a curb. September 11th, I'll tell you this, okay? I ran a little hot dog cart, all right? That was a bad day for this country. I gave people water for free. <laughs> <laughs> it was out of the hot dog bin. I'm not giving them yeah, bottles. It was the hot dog water. It was the hot dog water. <laughs> it, was, it was a hot day. Let's not get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. Toxic fumes were everywhere. I gave him sweaty hot dog water. I love this city. I can never leave. I'm trapped here by the amount of money I spend yeah. at all times. I can't afford to go over to the GW. That's why I never leave. I've never had more than $14 to my name at any moment. I live in hell. <laughs> I'll die. <laughs> Uh, but you know the city, you know it keeps you uh, keep keeps you healthy. You know I get my steps in. <laughs> I know I get my steps in. Sometimes when the you know it's hot hot day, the steam comes out of the subway. You know, and it's mm. like a sauna. You know, <laughs> I get my steps in walking away from homeless people dancing in front of my store. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of flinching. <laughs> You know, you know you, how many calories you burn flinching? You know how many calories you burn flinching on a walk through Harlem? Huh? <laughs> Just last week I walked to the Bronx. I flinched 30 times. I looked at my Apple Watch. It said my heart was in great condition because of that. 
Doc says, if it wasn't for my racism, I would have died years ago. <laughs> there really is. Yeah. Right, hatred and racism are fueling these old fucks. These, like, classic men. These, like, yeah. city guy guys. Nobody like, stays alive like just hateful racists. They just refuse to go down. No, they never. Because they still got a couple more things to say. <laughs> they all have a black nurse that they accuse of, like, stealing from yeah. them. Yeah. And That's the makeup They, they can't them. die because they're like, oh, she's going to steal my shit. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Is this really it? Like, I, I, if I die, that bumba cloud's gonna take my, my, my everything I my have. My Mickey Mantle baseball. I can't die before I give my son the ring I used to hit my wife in the fifties. <laughs> this ring has got a permanent dent from your when your mother lost her front tooth. <laughs> but I, I think she looks better now with the gold. It's shiny. <laughs> Got the Rizzo rat. Yeah, One yeah, gold yeah, 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 your ma looks like uh, Ratso Rizzo now, and that's a good thing to me. <laughs> your ma looks like every bad guy in the 90s. One gold tooth for some reason. Welcome to City Island, baby. <laughs> that's a strong island. Yeah, strong island, my friend. Yeah, Stan Island. It's good, good, most convenient city in the world. I only have to get on a bus, a train, and a boat to get to my <laughs> shitty job. I only have to take the Long Iron Express three hours to get to my job that's good enough to feed my family. I don't got to pay for gas, though. I'll tell you that. Like those suckers out in L.A. <laughs> They're all obsessed with L.A. Too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, L.A., huh? You have to with the fucking pedophiles, then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All those Hollywood pedophiles, huh? You What are you out there? Molesting kids, sucking cock? Is, is that what you're up there out there? Yeah. <laughs> up there out there, sucking the kids. Meanwhile, like, the Archdiocese of New York is just blown right, yeah. through a million Oh, yeah, teenagers. Jeffrey Epstein owned, like, an entire block. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, you guys are sick out there. Yeah, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein owned, like, a Walmart on the Upper West Side. <laughs> those people in L.A., you're fucking nuts, buddy. All right? So what that we're finding out more info that 9-11 was done by our government and we let it happen? So what there's probably hundreds of construction workers signed an NDA when they were putting in weird pipe bombs for months before the attack? What are you going to do about that, pal? Who gives a shit? Because that's a good union job. Yeah, it's a union job. We Better love than... our union jobs. It, it siphons money from the government away from needy organizations. Better than being in Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. Come on, take a seat. We got the good donuts today. Right. <laughs> you can't even I was down there I was down in West Hollywood I couldn't even get a good slice at 4 o'clock in the morning Are you kidding me? <laughs> Worst part about 9-11 is I beat up a couple white people because they were covered in the soot I thought they were black <laughs> <laughs> Big mistake I, I was charged with a hate crime. I thought I was beating up a Pakistani guy. Turns out he had a head wound, big bandage on his head. I thought those fucking ragheads in the sky should be charged with a hate crime over me. They hate Italians. It was Italian American discrimination. <laughs> There was a lot of good cousins doing IT work in those buildings, <laughs> slapping computers around, getting mad, throwing the coffee across the office. You're supposed to push Wabistics. <laughs> I don't care who crashed into the Twin Towers. We're yeah. in Jersey. Push Wabistics. Yeah, the one guy from a Bronx tale is in the towers, just <laughs> slapping guys around. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, New York. New York City. City that never sleeps. That is what's funny about New York because everyone there does act like they also built the city. Right. Like they were in those pictures where they were eating like a brown bag lunch. Like, They're balancing you know, on balancing an high beam. on a yeah. high beam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty sure you just, you were, you, you were born to some sack of shit parents. Right. <laughs> your, your identity is your accent. Right. Basically. Your grandparents were that. You were not. Yeah. You were not at exactly. all. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. New York is, it's all like the same joke we just did, you know, just like a garbage man, rats chewing at his feet because mm -hmm. he's taking out, you know, the trash at 4 a.m. He's like, greatest city in the world, baby. <laughs> <laughs> his, his hands are covered in tahini. Yeah. <laughs> Grace in the world. I saw literally a mountain of homeless people trying to not freeze to death. <laughs> literally, I'm not kidding. 15 of them piled into a big pyramid. <laughs> You would just see that walking down Wall yeah. Street. You'd be like, "I love this goddamn city." Hey, pal, you can get us. You can get a uh, turkey and cheese anytime you want. <laughs> so what? I've never had a vegetable. There's no grocery stores here. Who gives a shit? I was in L.A. 3 a.m. You couldn't even find a crackhead break dancing. <laughs> what kind of city is that? Yeah, all you guys out in L.A. You uh. You don't stuff your face at 2 a.m. <laughs> fucking retards. I'm going to box some muzzy's ears in. Wait, wait, what's not what's even, what, what is this? I can, 
Where's all the muzzies? I want, you know, you can't even... Yeah, can't even he's ask. Like delirious. He's in the desert just dying. <laughs> shadow boxing. Yeah, he's yeah, shadow boxing in the desert. I hear you pussies out in LA. You can't even box a muzzy's head in for a chopped cheese at 3 a.m. <laughs> the hell with that? Look at the menu here. They got anything you want. And some of them have tomatoes and lettuce in them. You're getting your vitamins. <laughs> it's literally, there's, there's, there's like areas in Brooklyn where I'm like, how do, where do you go to shop? Yeah. Like, where is the store? There was, when I was living in Brooklyn, there was one time I couldn't do laundry because there was a pit bull in front of my laundromat door not nobody owned it it had no collar it was just like fucking bowed up yeah and two black kids were trying to like grab it like they were trying to take it and it was just like trying to fuck them up and they were running away oh, i was like God. i guess i'll just i don't know wear dirty clothes to work tomorrow <laughs> yeah it's like what do you do yeah what do you like literally what do you do oh man it's, a, city it's a horrific world. city it's so hard i've never in my life gotten <laughs> more fights with different ethnicities in one year than mm -hmm. living in New York. Mm -hmm. I got in a fight with a Hasidic guy. Something that's never happened out here. Oh my God. Was he that guy in the famous video where he's like, stop playing that? <laughs> <laughs> to the guy playing his like yeah. violin. He's like, you call yourself an artist? I was an artist. <laughs> you draw on an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Set drawings by Jace, huh? <laughs> Well, I inherited my family's brownstone and I play the clarinet sometimes. I'm an artist too. <laughs> I've been drilling outside a 95 year old woman's apartment to get her to move out of rent control. <laughs> Fuck you. You're a loser. Uh, Joe, you have a beer? I inherited 300 apartments. And yeah, I have legal complaints on every single one of those <laughs> because people need heat in the winter. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. Yeah, seeds. We we only have them here in like a couple blocks. They're, yeah, they're all out in West, the West Hollywood, side. West like Beverly. canners, yeah, canters yeah, yeah. and shit. And they yeah. don't even keep. They don't. They're even keep. they're probably dying this week. It's been like a hundred and five every day in a while. Oh yeah, with their top hats on and shit. <laughs> they're all dressed like fucking Bing Crosby doing a big, <laughs> big song and dance. <laughs> With their giant beards and their curls, <laughs> <laughs> fucking doing a big doing singing in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> About to dance with Ginger Rogers, yeah, exactly. Doing fucking Abbott and Costello routine, right. wearing wearing man's first wheel on their head for some reason. <laughs> a big stone wheel. Oh man! Now I got I got to fight with a guy. I've t I think I told you this before. I was in Williamsburg and I was moving. I went to literally. I needed boxes, so I went to a place called like the box store which was selling boxes. Right. It was acidic. It was in Williamsburg. And I walk in and I go to the guy, I go, yeah, yeah, I need to buy like 10 boxes. He goes, we have no boxes here. And it was like, I swear, like a cartoon, Bunch like of boxes, a 20 foot wall of boxes yeah, directly like, behind. These are for our coins. <laughs> <laughs> how do you expect that we can't keep all the uh, you know the golden pouches they how need do you, to be in the box how do you expect me to get the coin star without these bucks <laughs> <laughs> just a Hasidic Jew cashing in millions of dollars at a coin star Ar arguing over the percentage that right. they take yeah, exactly <laughs> you're dropping in one penny at a time <laughs> he's just there count. for days he doesn't trust the counter <laughs> no, he's, he's like marking it on a big abacus <laughs> Mordecai I dropped two pennies move two beats over <laughs> <laughs> a service fee? <laughs> the fuck is a service fee? Yeah. I would like all of my coins back immediately. <laughs> well, technically, I did the service. I put the coins in. I collected them. I put them in the Col boxes. Collected I, them. I, I, collected I collected them. them. I'm, a, I'm a Hasidic Jew with a speech impediment. What's the problem? <laughs> Joe, like Joe Pesci, Hasidic Jew. <laughs> Well, the, 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 a lot of them have like a lisp or, a, or something going on. It's yeah. probably because they still got that fucking that that that, that baby dick in there. In <laughs> the baby blood right. dried in their tongue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The rabbis do put the, the the foreskin around their uvula and just let it dry around it. Yeah. I wonder if they ever like like keep it under their lip like a zin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can go to this the store in Williamsburg and just buy little tubs of yeah. four skins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> baby skins. Yeah, little baby skins. Yeah. <laughs> baby hides. Yeah, just just spitting stem cell juice into a styrofoam cup. <laughs> Brother, I love being Jewish. <laughs> Boy, I just love reading from right to left. Let me tell you, boy. I tell you, you ever tried starting at the right side of the page? Let me tell you, brother. <laughs> it's like reading manga, you Japanese ever, manga. You ever read a book with a big stick? <laughs> <laughs> you ever put one of them, 
them thermometers out front your door so the Jewish demons don't get in. Brother, I tell you, there ain't nothing I like more than taking a big wooden circle and pushing it down the street with a, with a big comb. Just last week, brother, I was shaving my wife's head, putting a wig on her so she could, you know, walk to the store respectably. She's 16. Yeah. She, we make her wear a wool coat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the other day, me and my grandpappy cutting the heads off of chickens and waving them around kids' heads down by Canner's Deli, being real dicks about people getting mad at it. <laughs> Every character now in the show is a Southern. What if this guy was Southern? Well, it's unfortunately it's it's when I meet you guys, so it's just black guys meeting yeah. country guys. It's, yeah, I mean it's the, the best accent ever. Right. The country guy. <laughs> Did you see that guy in Mississippi trying to fly his plane into the yeah, Walmart? Yeah, yeah. I heard about this this morning. Yeah. What, was, what was happening? I don't know. He apparently he finally landed. He stole a private jet and was just flying it around <clears throat> for hours. And yeah, he wanted to. He wanted to crash into a Walmart. Dude, yeah. I love that. He's like, Why? the code red is more expensive than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I will not land this plane until the price of red man goes down. <laughs> yeah, I told you, brother. Walmart up the up the price of their red vines. I'm about to fly a plane into that some bitch. Bring the AR-15 back. <laughs> Bring me the head of Sam Walton. They were sold out of Eminem's new album. You believe that shit? <laughs> they only had the clean version. I'm a hijack a plane, fly into that them sons of bitches. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day that said uh, a soldier asked Eminem for an autograph, and he said, sure, if I can get yours first. That's why I like his music, brother. <laughs> brother. I've seen that meme maybe 25 times. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then the whole black community is like, Eminem just for people that are in the military. <laughs> like, like, you know? And then all the white people are like, yeah, if you're in the military, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> I love being in the military. I love being in the military. My fucking head got blown off. <laughs> I can't hug my kids without trying to kill them. Ah, the military is great for me. I speak out of my shoulder now. <laughs> I love this country. I'll serve this country. No matter what. As long as I can hear Nate Dogg on the hook while I'm blasting children. <laughs> your left, your left, right, left. Uh, oh, yeah, the amount of Iraqi children who were sniped to just, like, shake that ass for me. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I know. <laughs> just Yeah, it's like Apocalypse Now, but they're just playing the worst, like, 2004. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just yeah, it's just like, you just hear, like, uh, put anthrax on a tampax and slap you till you can <laughs> Yeah, it's the beginning of uh, Apocalypse Now, but instead of the doors playing, it's let's get retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just... Shirtless guy punching the yeah. fucking mirror. Just a three-eyed Asian baby running out of the yeah. woods. Just, Let's get retarded in here. Yeah. yeah, just you're so two thousand. I'm so two thousand and eight. You're so two thousand and late. late. <laughs> I got that boom boom bow. <laughs> Baby's head just turns into dust oh, God, to mist. <laughs> bow bow bow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Just bombing a Yemeni wedding, like tonight's gonna be a good night. Tonight's gonna be a good, good night. Shut, shut, shut. Go, run, run! Do like, all right, I'm not gonna kill. Party rockers in the house tonight. <laughs> they're like, target is located. Should I go? And they're like, wait for the drop. <laughs> oh, yeah, the year Fuck. the year Skrillex dropped, just casualties doubled in oh, Afghanistan. God, yeah. You just hear like, what? Oh my god! <laughs> Whatever that. Yeah, somebody was. call nine one one. Yeah, just the dude <laughs> blasting pause for porno as he busts down a door of an Iraqi family's home. <laughs> He accidentally blows the brains of, a, of his yeah. grandfather out. He doesn't have time to. He doesn't have time to switch the song before he goes in. So he's just listening to Ken Kniff yeah. while blowing off the family. Yeah, <laughs> blowing the hinges off a door, and then like a kid yes, standing sad. right behind it. Yeah. yeah, now you suck. Now pass it uh, to Ken. He's getting getting tortured at Abu Ghraib. <laughs> fucking without me plays. Yeah. <laughs> while while my dick by Mickey Avalon is blasting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all crazy man bunch of as they rape Iraqi yeah. women. <laughs> Yo dick look like two fries. My dick like super sized. <laughs> it's it's one thousand percent what does that song go? The layup song? 
oh, one thousand um, percent dedicated power. Oh yeah, yeah, the power Fort of Minor. Yeah. They're like, remember the name. Thousand <laughs> yeah. percent hustle, fifty percent pain, hundred percent a reason to remember the name. They're playing the numb encore remix as they bomb Hasbala or Hasbala, whatever the fuck. Hasbala. Oh fuck! I'm an yeah. idiot. God damn. Just trying to think of names. I'm just like, yeah, as they bombed uh, fucking Tabuli. <laughs> Remember that big invasion yeah. of Tabuli Palace? Remember when they bombed Zanku Chicken? Dude! <laughs> oh my god. Remember that carpet bombing of Kuba Day? <laughs> and I go, wait, is that no, that never mind. That's what I got last night. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh man, I'm heated. God, I love that type of stuff. God damn. <laughs> I, I love that stuff. I love I love it when we just get caught uh, in it. Riffs like that keep me alive, brother. <laughs> When we just get caught in a deathly riff. <laughs> Can I get another foreskin? Let me get another foreskin. It's like you're riding the wave, big big wave surfing, you know? You're just trapped in that in that tube. Oh, uh, how do we, what do we, oh yeah, so the guy, the guy in Walmart, the guy trying to, to oh, yeah, fly yeah. his plane into Walmart. Do you remember the guy who uh, stole that plane and then committed suicide in it? Yeah, in the Alaska Airlines plane. Mm-hmm. That was in Seattle. Fun. Yeah, yes. that kicked ass. That, that was awesome. That dude ruled. That was one of the coolest people of all time. <laughs> that was. guy was honestly a legend. Yeah, there, there's a clip because he does a fucking he does a, a flip, yeah, a yeah. barrel roll. Yeah, yeah, is that what they call when he go all the way around? I thought he did a, a sideways barrel roll. I think he might have did a loop to loop while flip. while going while doing like a barrel roll. Yeah, and you hear the, the like the pilots are talking t- about it over the radio, yeah. and then. Uh, here, one of the pets go, uh, yeah, Roger, he just did a barrel roll uh, loop-de-loop over the lake. He cleared it by about 15 feet. And then you hear mich- you hear the air tower go, really? <laughs> yeah. no, he's, like, he's like, really? It's like you landed oh, the 900. And they're all trying. No, they're literally like, yeah. oh, damn. They know, they're, they know it's being recorded, so they can't say, like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. They're, no, they were like, he pulled that off? Yeah. Oh. It turns into like an X Games announcer. They're like, huge barrel roll by, yeah. by the guy who stole a plane trying to kill himself. Well, the negotiator the whole time was going just like, uh, because he was just a guy that worked at the airport. He was just like a, a baggage handler or something. Yeah, yeah. Right? He, he was worked the, at he like was Horizon, the, I think. Like a, yeah, like a company. He was at the, the guy who he yeah. had the cones that he were. Oh, waved. he was a, just a cone guy. So, yeah. so he was up he was in the. the cone guy. He was flying yeah. around and they were like, okay, um, sir. So to your right, there's going to be a, a the, you know the mechanism to, to accelerate. He's, he goes, he goes. No, I, I've uh, I, I played. I I had a flight simulator. I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, I kind of know what I'm doing. And and they were just like, all right, what the fuck? <laughs> and but he did. He was he like did. the best pilot. He was an ace. He taught it. He was it was like Top Gun. Yes. Yeah. 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 He was amazing. He had the, he had the two and a half minutes to reach the target. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He was doing maneuvers yeah, that point just nine have G's. never been done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was doing flips. He signed a deal yeah. with Etnies right after. <laughs> yeah, doing the breathing. Like, <gasps> 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 he's, better, then, he's better than Denzel in flight. <laughs> uh, he, Here it, it is. At, oh, yeah, yeah. Play the, play the audio. This is the it. audio, yeah. Yeah. Can everyone standing by for departure? Just Look, he's hold, doing the flip. Uh, hold on with me for a second. That's a 747. Yes. yes. That's a Alaska 12, Airlines 747. 747. Welcome. Man, I'm a ground service agent. I don't know what that is. Oh, by the way, yeah, wasn't he also? He was very casual. Yes, he was up there like he's like I might stop by Whataburger. Like <laughs> he was just like being real well, cool. Didn't act like he was gonna kill himself, but he was totally suicidal. He wanted to kill himself mm-hmm. Wait, after after he uh, survived that flip, which is like considered an, an impossible maneuver by pilots, mm-hmm. by many pilots. They, they they started going like, okay, why don't you take that thing back down and we'll tell you how to land it. And he goes, to be honest, I kind of was hoping that that was it. Yeah. I'm kind of shocked that I, I, I was able to do that. <laughs> yeah, he was like, wow, I keep... He's like, I might have a career in this. Yeah. Well, he's no, like, even, I might have to land this thing and get a job. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> even Ghost, he's like, uh, they're like, you might want to land that thing. He goes, yeah, I could land it, go to jail, or just go out in a blaze of glory, you know? Man. It's the most, Be a way to go, wasn't in it? Most rational man alive. <laughs> that guy should, a be, should have been man. president. A free Really? Man. I mean, if you're going to like kill yourself, like that's the way to you're do You're going it. to jail for a long time. Yeah. Well, I mean, he clearly, I think, just wanted to kill himself. Yeah, he did, but no, he did it the coolest way. Once possible. I heard nobody was on the plane, I was like, "Do exactly. what, I was like, do what was you about got to do. What it. you got to do, brother." Right. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't like fly it into, you know, d- d- downtown Seattle. Right. You, you don't know? go like that. Uh, that Norwegian pilot who just went insane and what? flew into that mountain. 
Do you uh, remember that? No. That was like from what, like Joe, like 2012? This pilot just like went insane. Yeah. It was like, I think Norwegian Air, something like that. They're like just flying around the Alps. Other pilot leaves the cockpit and they, they changed the rule because of this for all airlines. Cockpit automatically locks. So the pilot was locked out. He just like turned the thing that you're like, you're locked out. Yeah. The guy just starts fucking nose to the ground, just like free fall for like five minutes. Nobody can get in because it's, it's for oh, to, no. to stop terrorism. Just five minute descent straight into like the fucking like uh, ridge this of a mountain. This was a packed flight? Packed flight. Like three hundred souls. He killed three hundred people. Yeah. Why didn't we not hear about this? It was on the. It was on the. It news. was Norway. Yeah. 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 What, 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 what year? I want to say like twenty thirteen, something like yeah. that. What's with Norwegian? They're either like all the yeah, mass they're, murderers. They're either popping out of the water and killing people, <laughs> or they're popping out of the sky and killing people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they hate land. They yeah. hate land <laughs> death. They're, yeah. the, they're like the Marines for killing people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They'll like skydive out of a plane and just shoot up a party. <laughs> Have you noticed that real quick though? Before we watch this footage, uh, I feel like we're getting pretty laxed with our nine eleven laws on the planes. You got to go through really? a bunch of hullabaloo at the TSA hullabaloo. You gotta, <laughs> what am I like? Kiss the cook? All right. Uh, <laughs> Um, that was one of the terrorist names, by the way. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Akbar Akbar <Hullabaloo. laughs> we, we 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 knew he was up to no good. Yeah, George Bush comes out. He's like, uh, you know, we knew he was he, his name. It's he said it in his name. He was, yeah. It was a bunch of hullabaloo happened today. Yeah. This is he talking about nine eleven. <gasps> yeah, hullabaloo Hasbullah was there. <laughs> but it's uh, it's I walk onto planes now, and you can see the pilots and the doors open. Yeah. You could like wait and they're like talking to you. It's very nineties again. And it's making me nervous. Well, as Lock you, it up. Well, as you enter. Yeah, but then even at the front, I don't know. Like while it's, it's it in seems, air? No, but I've seen the stewardesses go into the cockpit while it's in the air. I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, well that I don't even like you're that. Like, Have a walkie talkie and You're just, like, I'll rush the cockpit right now just to teach everybody a lesson. If the <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pilots need something from a flight attendant. They should have a little like mailbox that you could like hand stuff to. Like the restaurants in really bad neighborhoods. Exactly. Where they yeah. have the glass they box. <laughs> exactly. That, that thing. So a when, guy can yeah. get Newports without getting stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> when you're at a Kennedy fried chicken in Brooklyn. What is Kennedy fried chicken? By the way? Is, how is it? How do they not get sued by KFC? I know. It's just fried chicken, but you might get like stabbed to death. It's, it's always bulletproof glass. Yeah, the yeah. turning thing. It's great. Yeah. It's like a Brinks truck. <laughs> delivering chicken yeah it's the movie ambulance but for a chicken place <laughs> but yeah i don't know i guess you guys haven't noticed that but i, I feel like it's a uh, uh, since 9 11 like we, we it, now it's they're gonna, very jokey now which i don't like i don't like that. i hate the, the jokes. pilots have all these gags mm -hmm. with the with the they're like hibachi chefs now like they're gonna spray soy sauce <laughs> I know, on i'm me. like what the fuck is this <laughs> I mean, they're gonna do the little choo choo train. <laughs> My radar is this Benny Hanna or you Delta? <laughs> Stop trying South, to yeah, impress yeah, me. Southwest is the best or the worst because the rap, the stew, the stewardess, yes. the rapping. Oh, you've never heard a stewardess rap? No. Southwest, they'll rap. At, at I would take the plane over, dude. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what if? What, what was your experience? What did set you off? It was just I would fly Southwest, and they would always have like this stand-up routine, like memorized. Yes, but yeah. they go through all these uh, jokes, and they're like, people are hooting and hollering, slapping yeah. their knees. Southwest is like the improv troupe of the airlines. <laughs> like they're they're very like it's like UCB. You yeah, know, you go on Southwest. I think the stewardess throw their name in a bucket. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and American is real. Like, come on, you just. You know, act right. You're an American. Yeah, come on. And United is like, is there an Asian doctor on this flight? Because we are going to fucking pummel him. <laughs> we use Asian doctors to fuel the plane. Yeah. It's like, actually, yeah, the fuel is Asian doctors. <laughs> Just shoving him in like it's the Titanic. Just big coal room. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best footage ever. He was squealing. Yeah, yeah. They're dragging him through the hall. And then, yeah, he's just playing dead. Yeah, he's knowing, pretending to be dead. Knowing he's about to get the <laughs> biggest lawsuit settlement of all time. Oh, I know. Oh, God. <laughs> glasses, best glasses hanging <laughs> off his nose like that. <laughs> he's just going, oh, oh. <laughs> He drew two X's on his eyes like a cartoon character. He had like a like a like a cartoon medical bag yeah. on his head. Like he, a he had a bunch of piano keys for teeth. <laughs> he let a fruit by the foot just hang out of his mouth, like his tongue's dangling out. Yeah, with an X at the end. Yeah, um, big uh, Steve Martin arrow through his head. <laughs> All right, let's watch this fucking yeah, legend. Yeah. Let's watch this hero go. 
filed at the 7017. Start it up, get it to go. Uh, in a couple hours, I guess. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't know how to land it. I wasn't really planning on landing it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I wasn't sure to land it. Look at this. He's like figuring it out as it goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show this is not that hard. Yeah, I, could, I feel like I could fly a plane pretty easily. Yeah, well, if Frank Abagnale quick, Jr. can do it, I think I, I heard that it. they really, uh, we actually work for a guy that, that flew planes for a yeah, long yeah. time. Like oh, a professional really? pilot, and yeah. helicopter pilot. Unfortunately, I had to talk to him about the Kobe stuff. And, you know, he, sure. knew, he knew the guy. He knew the, he knew pilot, the, pilot. the pilot. He knew the pilot. He, he was everything. like, yeah, that guy fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because that like, guy what, did he, what did he, he say like, happened? The guy flew opinion. manually. He flew manual and he said he never would have flown that day and he could have landed like 10 different they times. They had like 10 different times to land. He doesn't know why they didn't just land. Had nothing to do with Kobe. There was not like they they don't let that happen. It's not like there's like pressuring the pilot. Th- the said, pilot was just said, doing it. He said he thought it was because the pilot and he did know the guy was probably like I got to get Kobe Bryant. There. Yes, like, exactly. Kobe Bryant, even though Kobe said nothing. Right, but just the implied pressure of Kobe Bryant's right. existence. They yeah. flew yeah. over. Yeah. They flew over Glendale for like 20 minutes. And Wait, so how did it come? Word. How did it come out of the sky, or did it fly into the mountain? So it flew right into the mountain. Uh, he said that the, he said you get that disoriented up he there. He said the guy got disoriented in the fog. So, so mm. pretty much what happened? What he was explaining? And he like, thought, he thought it was a fake. Yeah. <laughs> and I think one of the things, one of the, the you know the the propellers hit the mountain, and mm. then it's like going out of control. Yeah. And one of the things that was really fascinating to me was the way he described like when you get in that situation, your perception's all fucked up. So thing like. Left is right, right is left, up up is down, and so mm-hmm. like you don't you stop um, really knowing which direction you're headed, mm-hmm. and you're surrounded by a cloud. Right, and he said it just like by the time he figured it out, by the time he figured he out you're in front of a mountain, yeah, and right. he just went straight. Into he it. just panicked and and but tried to pull up, but it's be, he tried pulling up, but it was too late, and he said that uh, it's really because. He wasn't flying. You could. It's. Yeah. It's like he says. Almost everybody flies automatic. Mm-hmm. You're just. Which is like computer guy. Yeah, the it. pilots are just there to be alive and handle like landing and right. taking yeah. off. Once it's going and mm-hmm. they find the right altitude, it flies itself. You just basically. put the GPS on. Yeah. yeah. So he said that almost every helicopter pilot does that too, but this guy loved to fly he manually to he was flying, known to yeah. fly manually he was a known manual guy yeah known yeah. manual guy yeah. yeah yeah so yeah he was up there jacking off and <laughs> killed seven people and my hero scumbag yeah well vanessa just won a huge settlement from the lapd so yeah that's nice no that, I, you know, it's kind of worth it yeah, yeah it's all yeah, I'm great. And, yeah she was uh, that her last game was great <laughs> She played great. Yeah. <laughs> just keep keeping the name alive and, you know. I just saw a picture today. I'd never seen this before, but apparently, like, somebody tweeted uh, Kobe was so good that the Al Qaeda was wearing his jerseys. And there is a video. Yeah, it's true. Of a guy wearing a Kobe jersey, like, shooting an oh, air to ground missile. Yeah. I post it, like, every 9 11, I think. <laughs> Every 9-11. I I've I never seen that. it. Oh, it's great. I was dude. like, this is the hardest pick of all time. It's, he's holding a grenade launcher and he's shooting at the, uh, he's, I think he's shooting at the Taliban. Actually. Right. He's a good guy. Oh, okay. He's but one of the good guys. He's one of the good guys. But, uh, you know, anyone, anyone out there can just be a fighter. Right. It's not like you go sign up at <laughs> right. the mall. Yeah. Like here, you know, you don't go see Top Gun and get a Wetzel's pretzel and <laughs> sign up for them like, to a fight. <laughs> you just kind of walk out of your cave and you're like, yeah, give me that. <laughs> But yeah, no, he's wearing a Kobe jersey and he's firing a uh, a missile at yeah. a tank. It's like yelling Kobe awesome. while he's doing yeah, it. Kobe! Yeah, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a dog's going crazy. What the hell? Oh my God, hopefully it kills somebody. <laughs> we got the dogs barking out <laughs> That'd there. That'd be awesome if somebody got attacked by a dog right now. Yeah, yeah if, if on the podcast a dog came in and killed all, all of us. All of us, <laughs> that'd be great. And everyone watches our slow demise yeah. as we all bleed out over the course of an hour. Like, dude, crazy live stream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that would get numbers. Yeah, start seeing the hearts go up. <laughs> Maybe that's how we get this podcast to take off. We all get attacked by a dog. Get eaten by a dog. Yeah. The cry laugh emoji, yeah. <laughs> That's for like the 10,000 Patreon subs. Somebody gets attacked by a live dog. No protection. We just start doing jackass shit. Yeah. If we get to 10,000 patrons, we'll let Jace get attacked by a dog. Right. Yeah. We'll do if jack- we hit 5,000 subs, we're going to shoot Joey in the thigh. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Joey? Quite good. You doing good? What is, good? I've been seeing these all over the place. Is this a specific brand of vape? It's a new type of vape that uh, Devin and I went to Vape Row, which is uh, on, uh, it's like 
Wall Street and is it like a, a wall like a street full of just vape it's a vapes? block it's a of bunch only, of probably yeah, fake vape. vapes yeah. that LA's Wall these Street just people sells these scam artists sell. <laughs> And we this, went. We, me and the boy went down to Vapro. This Indian guy <laughs> sold Joey a fucking bill of goods. Yeah, it's called the Snow Wolf, and it like leaks vape oil into your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> that's like LA's version of, of Broadway. But I bought a ten pack. <laughs> you go have an Indian guy sell you a bunch of shitty vapes. Yeah. <laughs> you just hear cash only. <laughs> yeah. But I bought a ten pack, and I'm stuck with them. So now I'm just getting nicotine poisoning because the fucking fluid drips into my lungs. Well, that's yeah. what I've been seeing. Like, like. Um, the young people vaping, it's all those type of cartridges where they're like colorful, they're all little tiny square things. Well, that's just the marketing. They, they're all they're all copying each oh, other. They're okay. all scumbags. These, it's these all the young, same. Is it young because people. Jewel outlawed all the flavors, so they switched to that one? I think so. Yeah. 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 I, guess, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Jewel outlawed Jewel, right? Or are they still around? Yeah, the Jewel's illegal, I think. But, but why, almost... John has that view, the views thing, and that's still around, and that's like the same as a fucking Jewel. I don't really I don't get know, they just no, came no. Well, they, they regulated them. flavored vape oil because it was, uh, you know, the, the claim was that it's being marketed to kids. To kids, right. right. Yeah. They said the Americana smelled too delicious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're well, covering up the Cinnabon smell. <laughs> God forbid, uh, you know, kids uh, have a nice peach flavored uh, head high right before they get shot in class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Outlaw that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you know, I'm fucking, I'm a little. Outlaw also, that. Also, Biden outlawing uh, 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 Newports, basically. He did. Yeah. Menthols, Very racist yeah. of him. What's next? Fucking lemonade, ribs, uh, Cadillacs. New Biden law, you can only own three sneakers at one time. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden announces only three pairs of Jordans per household. White tees will be worn by size. No double, triple XL. What a racist. That's like the 94 crime bill all over again. No yeah. more Newports. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's crazy. They're like, camel crushes are fine. Those are cool. God. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, it's like he passed an entire law dedicated to uh, fucking over Omar from The Wire. <laughs> <laughs> What is Prop Joe going to yeah, do now? You can't own a shotgun and be gay. <laughs> <laughs> One or the other, Omar. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's watch this fucking man. Yeah, we keep trying guy. to watch this guy. We're like, not interesting enough. <laughs> Get to it, suicidal hijacker. <laughs> Newford, see what it can do before I put it down, you know? Such beautiful land. So I can, uh, Washington is so gorgeous. Easier. A little bit. I'm sorry. Say that again. Sorry, uh, my mic get, came off. I threw up a little bit. <laughs> I threw up you a know, little bit. I uh, hold on. Ah, shoot, man. I'm sorry about this. I hope this doesn't ruin your day. Considerate <laughs> <laughs> uh, sweetheart. Just flying the plane around. You seem comfortable with that. Oh, hell yeah, it's a blast, man. I played video games before, This so would be me stealing I, a plane. Uh, it's been a blast. Dude, bit. this is like his Star Fox. Okay, <laughs> and, uh, and you can see all the terrain around you. Uh, you've got no issue with visibility or anything? Nah, everything's peachy. He's like, it's so gorgeous, brother. Don't know why like right Cobain there. killed himself. <laughs> uh, I think I got some. I'm actually gonna land this out. thing. I'm gonna go to trade yeah, school. Man. I got a new lease on life. Yeah, we're getting the yeah. airport's depressing, man. <laughs> okay, and sometimes you gotta take one of these things up into the sky, do a couple flips, at? figure out the meaning of life. I really needed this, guys. He's like, guys, I just want to thank you for letting me hijack this Alaska Airlines plane. Guys, is there an ox cord in this thing? I want to play Steely Dan. Is there an ox cord here? I'd love to play Aja before I take it down. I have no idea what all that means. I wouldn't know how to... Oh, there's head. like I'm fucking F-14s around him. So around. they I'm sent F-14s okay. to like make yeah. sure he's okay. Well, if he starts yeah. driving yeah. towards a building, they're just going to shoot him down, yeah. But then he still crashes no, into like houses, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah fuck that. <laughs> Bunch of lazy bozos oh, okay, eating Kraft yeah, macaroni and cheese, watching the fucking voice. Die! You know, screwing up everyone else's day. We can't let him hit the Prudential building. I love how considerate he is. He's like, I just really, I feel like I'm really fucking with everyone's day. Yeah. I didn't mean it. He's like, guys, I'm just going through something. It's a real you suicidal know? guy move. You you, know? Well, you can tell he has he's like lovely. social anxiety. Yeah, That's yeah, probably yeah, why yeah. he did it. He's yeah. killing himself because he's like, guys, I get nervous talking to strangers. Yeah. <laughs> I know I wasn't nervous enough to not hijack a plane, but I'm a little nervous talking to you. You guys have like, you go, you, I'm really impressed by yeah. everything you do. I just hate talking on the phone. <laughs> the, the, the only 
time I feel like myself is when I'm up in the sky in a stolen cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> Flying five million dollars of stolen metal through the sky. <laughs> How did he wind up? Where did he crash? Just like into the woods? I think like it, a mountain. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, just in nature. How much is a big mountain? How much is one plane like that? What does that cost? The Probably last five guy? million. Wow. I think it's, if if that's a seven forty seven, I think more than five. I, I know the cheapest jet you can buy is like one point five million. So yeah, you're probably right. It's probably like ten or twenty. Yeah. Can yeah. can like I was a, looking in buying looking into buying a jet. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Can a rich that Tesla really went to your head? <laughs> <laughs> can a rich civilian, like if you have like you know hundreds of millions of dollars, can you buy a seven forty seven and be like, I'm starting my own airline? Yeah, you can. Yeah, Howard Hughes did that essentially, yeah. right? Yeah, it's, it's called like Jeff Airways. <laughs> Chucks. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> you can buy fighter jets if you have enough money. Really? And what do you do with those? You just Whatever, take like, out you, your enemies? You can, well, what people do is they start like a, a mercenary uh, company. So it's like Blackwater. Oh. oh, so you can freelance your fighter jet. Yeah. They should do that wow. instead of swatting. Just like like teenagers making money on Twitch, they start buying fighter jets and they yeah. start like fucking firebombing their, en their enemies. Yeah, Hassan <laughs> in a fighter jet. Yeah, killing Hassan Sam Piker Hyde. killing Sam Hyde in a fighter jet. <laughs> you see Sam Hyde just like hit with a, a fucking heat seeking missile. Yeah. Has yeah. Hassan responded to Sam? Because Sam's going hard with that. I don't know. I think he called, the cop. he called the cops and everybody was mad. Hassan at him. called the cops yeah, on yeah. him? For what? what? The, yeah, what? He was like trying to kill him, basically. But Hassan's like a big Black Lives Matter, you right. know. Well, yeah, he's, he's sure the cops love Hassan. Hassan Piker. is like the Chris D'Elia of politics. He's Sam just had a really good true, fight. Incredibly right. talented, great man. Incredibly talented. <laughs> and, you know, he Sam liked. Hyde's fight that he just did was actually kind of amazing. He, has, he has great punching power. He's great. Yeah, yeah. and he, he timed himself. It was three three-minute rounds, yeah. and he just let his opponent get tired. He's very smart. He's very smart. Protecting himself. He's yeah. like Ali. And then went in at the <laughs> end of every round and got him. Well, no, so he, he maybe lost the first round, and then the second round went by, and then just letting his opponent get tired because the guy was, like, swinging for the fences. Mm -hmm. Some dude named I Am Thompson. And then uh, just in the third round, he just like, all right, now he's tired. I waited. I saw that he was going to be tired. Yeah. And then he just started picking him apart, punching him in the face, and, mm. and the ref just stopped it because... Right, TKO. It was yeah. like, yeah, standing, eight count. And he's it, been in great shape. I've seen the training videos. The training videos are crazy. I love Sa I love Sammy Boy. I mean, I'm sure he's a little upset that he had to learn all his moves from, you know, black men. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he looks like a great fighter. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, was he wasn't good, but it, like I thought he was going to look way worse, and he looked like good for Sam Hyde. He's yeah. like doing a Kaufman thing. Yeah. He's uh, like, he's yeah. trying to do like an Andy Coffin, like, like to him, women are Twitch streamers like Hassan. And so he's like trying to beat the shit out of like the new version of women, which mm -hmm. are those guys. And he did kind a of, very kind of brilliant. It's kind of brilliant. And it's all you see Jake Paul making like a hundred million bucks on these dumb fights. And then he, he won it and he had a very funny post fight, uh, uh, speech. Mm -hmm. What it, did Sam win money in that fight? Well, he got paid a purse, and so I don't know what it was. Yeah, there's yeah. usually a purse if you win versus losing. Yeah. Right, right. Huh. But it's like an appearance, you know. But he's funny enough to where if he keeps winning against bigger people, like he could actually make a lot of money on that, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like if he got a fight with one of the Paul brothers or something. Uh, that yeah, would be, I, which would be huge. fucking. That's awesome. where he yeah. wants to That'd get to. Doing right. like, yeah. Yeah. I hope he gets to that events. point. That'd be amazing. Yeah. He fights. He fights Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like a fucking a two hundred pound difference. Yeah. <laughs> He was just mad that the sweet science wasn't race science. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sam. I don't know. I, you know, I'm just we're just making surf I think he's, surface I think level he's jokes. Make, I don't really. I, he was pretty. He was pretty unfairly. Uh, oh, at Adult Swim, he was treated, very unfairly like, treated. You know, and, and he's made some of the like funniest stuff. Him at the the sketch of him at the gym, like just a random gym in L.A., and he's going chick chick boom, and then he's like pulling. Yeah, just he's throwing pulling the bar down. all the way down, and then just letting it explode, like knock the machine. My favorite. Over was the the wine sketch is like yes. that's yeah. gut gut laughter yes. like the funniest, belly yeah. belly la like nick <laughs> roquefort rutherford R rutherford i think it's roke oh, okay my apologies um love that guy mm -hmm. i think he's so funny yeah yeah and he's just like a fucking used car salesman yeah, he just owns a car it's like dealership it's hilarious yeah 
And then Charles, I don't know what's going on with Charles. Charles, I think he quit I think entertainment. Charles shot up at Uvalde school recently. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, he's from the Capitol. Yeah, but the fact that like just <laughs> Tim Heidecker and a bunch of Hollywood guys just conspired to make him lose his show. Yeah, it's like, why would I not immediately think that he's not like that he's being unfairly treated when those like wh- those right. people go that far with him? Like, wh- which sucks because it was like, all guys. Threatened. I, it they're was threatened all- that he was doing th- their type of stuff, but in his own way. Yeah, it was sucked because this was all guys I liked as a kid, like Heidecker and Brett Gelman and all those guys. I was like, oh, yeah. these guys are hilarious. And I don't. Uh, I never understood the Brett Gelman stuff. I mean, when I was what, eighteen, what I liked it. What did he do though? What he would take Brett his Gelman's shirt off thing? and talk That's about good, right? Getting raped. He was a young man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was a young man. I was just. I thought. I also thought if you messed but you go to hell so cut me right <laughs> I was off on a lot of things I wasn't, I wasn't attacking you I was, I'm literally wondering what is Brett Gelman done besides be cast and stuff and Gelman like, he had a very funny scene yells. in the other guys he had a very funny right, scene right when he's like fuck my wife yeah you wanna fuck my wife yeah, yeah. that was funny yeah that is he had a yeah. funny sketch that he did with Tim Heidecker too I, I like I, I, I thought it was funny but Sam Hyde I think is actually a good guy I'm not even kidding. I, I know he, too. he said crazy stuff that has offended people. But I know when he I, is. When I see Actually, him, when I see him, like I, I just me. my instinct is he's a good guy. Dude, like, Sam used to coach me through comedy, like back when I when I before I met you. Are you serious? When I was making videos and I was like 19, 20, 21, he like hit me up and I guess people were sending him my videos and he was like super sweet to me and he was like really complimentary of my stuff. And uh, he would just, we'd talk like a lot on like Facebook. And then he had me, uh, I sent some ideas for a book he was making, which I later found out was called How to Bomb the U.S. Government. (laughs) (laughs) I realized it was like not really a coherent book. It's more so a manifesto that he's leaving behind uh, at some point uh, whenever he does whatever he's planning on doing. And, uh, but no, I'm kidding. I, 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 but he's, he was, he was awesome. He was like, he would like even tell me stuff that he, he's not, he doesn't like. But back then, it made a little more sense. But he'd be like, "You should be doing SNL. Like, you should be trying to do all that type you of be stuff." Saying the N word mm-hmm. more, yeah. you know. He's like, "Say it, yeah." He's like, "Drop it." Say he it a little you, more. He, that's what he taught you. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, he's a, I have, I have personal evidence. The guy is a, a, a good person, and I, I, I think they're they're great. I like MD a lot. Yeah. Anyway, Jace, what do you have? I think they're great. Yeah. yeah. I think everybody's great. They got really, <laughs> they really got in trouble for like the unaired sketch, right? Yeah. Where it was like the guy, it was the guy pushing the, the stone, stone up, up the, a mountain. Yeah, yeah. Which is there it was a little bit. I get what you're doing. Like it's an abstract punk thing, but there is also part of me like, eh. there was a. I I, yeah. I understood where he was trying to come from, but the final product, you're like. Yeah, yeah. That's the, gonna... the reaction to some of his stuff is so ridiculous to me because it's like, all right, so he went for something. It was a little distasteful. That's as far as he ever got to well, me. Well, it's like it's a like little the... distasteful, not worth getting fucking uh, railroaded over. No, no, I, yeah, I completely agree with that. Like the rock thing, it's like it's like you're kind of like, well, can you? I get what you're going for. Can you like put it in a context where maybe you're showing the sketch to somebody and they're like, right, having difficulties with it, so it's not as just like here's a blank thing that my audience has to deal with and smart people like us are like oh i get you're doing like some meta yeah. commentary on what people like, think look, you're never, doing he never had a child but, but suck a dick 60% of your audience, like a dick yeah. but 60 percent of your audience <laughs> is probably like yeah that's right jews control all the money and mexicans are lazy you know it, it wasn't open-ended enough and witty enough it, yeah it was a little too like well uh, yeah, it, it was know, like was... if you watch it and you don't know him you're like this is the race comedy like mm-hmm. you, this is, is like a racist sketch I yeah, think, yeah you know but well, he did a lot of tone deaf stuff where he, i don't think it was malicious but he just didn't understand but like, i'm also oh, this not is gonna, gonna be hated by it, these groups exactly and it's like it's also you're allowed to kind of be tone deaf when you are a troll like yeah. half of his shit his shtick was going to you know like anime conventions and, and ted and talks talking yeah. about how like everyone is mentally challenged there right and, like you know his ted talk video is i mean that is hilarious incredible. it's awesome so it's also so cringy that it makes me uncomfortable. I can barely watch it. Makes it. Me, the, my, my favorite what that they did, the MDE guys, is when they went to, uh, I think they went to like Williamsburg and they like crashed like a like a, like a an alt comedy yes, show. Yes, and he yes, was yes. just, he was up there saying that like gay people shouldn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> just doing the most inflammatory thing you could do. He's doing well, a silly character. Yeah. There was one where he went but to like But he's always a, trying to be funny. Yeah. That's the point. And there he was is one, most of the time. He loves good comedy. Yeah. yeah. There Sam was, has great taste. There does, was one where he went to a DSA meeting and he's trying to talk to people like people are trying to kick him out he's like see the thing is brother if, when you realize the man is trying to subjugate us like you you know all these fine white women around <laughs> i was like that's like one of the funniest things i've ever yeah. said yeah. yeah so all right 
Well, anyway, he hijacked this Alaska <laughs> Airlines flight, <laughs> and this is him. Yeah, it was a bit. <laughs> Let's just watch the Nelk boy milk his dog. Yeah. <laughs> Alpha, we're going to keep people clear. This runway for... 446, can we just shut down? I'm, uh, I'm down to 2100. I started like 30 something. He's like, this shit's crazy. He's like, I'm starting to feel like I'm Richard flying a plane. Uh, 2,100 pounds of fuel left. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what the burn, burn itch, burn out is like on, uh, uh, on takeoff, but, uh, yeah, it's burned quite a bit faster than I expected. Okay. Uh, yes, sir, we have the fuel in sight. Kind of car? There is the, uh, the runway just off your right side in about a mile. Do you see that? The He's like, where's New York? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, can you give me the direction <laughs> of New York City? Hey, do you guys know, have they finished building the Freedom Tower yet? <laughs> or is it that mosque? Either way, I'm going to crash into it. If I it's the mosque, even better. American oh, pride, would, brother. That would be a baller move. <laughs> it flies it like into a mosque. <laughs> the Revenge. <laughs> 9-11 to the Revenge. The Reckoning. An American does a domestic <laughs> terrorist act. Act on a mosque. Yeah, a guy hijacks a plane and flies it into the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Doesn't even understand. Yeah, he's like, those damn Muslims! <laughs> flies it into, like, Delhi. <laughs> he's like, they're a Hindu. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, oh. Yeesh! Anyway, yeesh. We, we get the point. He flies it, and he has a fun time. Yeah, he he and now he's been dead for ten years. He's been dead. <laughs> he is dead. He yes. doesn't yeah. have to go through our hell. Now he's rotting in actual he's a hell. Lucky, lucky man, I'll tell you that. Uh, I want to get into this a little bit, because uh, uh, old Benjamin, your brother, uh -huh. he came over and he showed me this. What hey, video? It's Mike Birbiglia has a new one man show out. Oh great! And yes. uh, the trailer it made it made us both like fall on the floor laughing. Uh huh. Uh, anyway. Do you want to? How how long are we? We'll, we're, we'll wrap it up. Oh, right okay, after okay, this. okay. We're, yeah, we're at an hour eight. We're, we're yeah, good. yeah. Sorry, I just always I'm worried about getting heat stroke. No, I, we got we got to get out. We got to go outside <laughs> for a second. We're all yeah. gonna die soon, but. I also real I realized halfway through the podcast I, f I took a shower before I came here I forgot to put the odor on so I'm like so worried. I don't smell you all right I think you're great I'm talking to men but still um yeah I'm like a I'm like a football coach in like 2004 <laughs> in Mississippi half the team dies of heat stroke <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're you're just being a salt tablet so you can do an, an extra hour of the pod <laughs> Water breaks after those laps, boys. <laughs> Boon rally, boys. Yeah. Boon rally. We're all sucking from those nipples they put on the ice. Did you have those growing up? What is it? The it was an ice chest with water and it had like cow like plastic cow nipples off the oh, side. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We did have those. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. It was humiliating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's, anyway, let's, yeah, show let's us, watch this. Show trailer. us this cucks trailer. <laughs> Mike Birbiglia is a magical comedy creature. He does a one-man show, but it's like the, the jokes are so good. Stand yeah, the red carpet, the, the Scalar such brothers. A, a charming and engaging Jason Nash. Birbiglia is kind of a unique <laughs> fish in that you know, it's a this, show. The hip thing was like, I was dying, I can't take it. Like, <laughs> it's kind of a... <laughs> you're swimming like a dog. Like, you're a dog. He's, He's so awkward. <laughs> like, that's Danny Jones. Oh, we like Danny. Danny. Is, Danny jo is Danny dating Rachel Bloom? No, he was just in her show, I think. Oh, so that's as right. A comic, that's right. Singer. Okay. Danny's very, very funny. Look at him. He's just ho wishing he was anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good at putting stories together. To me, it's like he's a magician. There are a lot of themes that I feel like people are afraid to or accept. I think Mike Birbiglia is a very talented guy, by the way. Right just, yeah, he was one of my. He was the, one of the first comedians I got into. Yeah. 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 This is just, he's just, 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 but he's just shots of him fake yeah. swimming. He's just being the biggest cheese dick this is ever. So, it's and so cheesy. And he's yeah. just gone into like that um, that territory of like, and that's when I realized that depression was real. It's like you're actually like a cold sociopath. Yeah, it's the yeah. same thing as the other guy. Um, I, the guy with the glasses. Shane got in trouble for going after uh, kind of. The uh, guy with the glasses. Gethard. Chris Gethard. Yes, exactly. He's like Chris Gethard, yeah. yeah. Birbigly is West Coast Gethard. But I actually, I guess he lives in New York. I don't know. But, yeah. but they're, they're, very, this, they're very similar. I just, I just hate the pretending of the cringe and awkward and like if you've ever like if you know comedy enough to listen to him like when he's on opening anthony and he's like fighting with rich voss or like it's hearing just, the stories about how he made it big it's like you're very cold calculating which is perfect for you but like yeah it's not mean, pretending you're this awkward sauce he also is red like, humor guy on o and a it's like 
it's it's not he's not great at busting chops. No, like it's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, like, like you know you're getting beaten down by Rich Voss. Rich Voss is like a legend in terms of like off the cuff shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he would just keep trying to make fun of his voice, and it was like uh, this is like the difference between like I don't know I don't know how else to say it like street comics right. like 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 where it's not it's just it's in their bones mm-hmm. and you're a performer kind of i don't know how to that's say the it. beauty down of syndrome versus autistic guy rich Voss. yes <laughs> and down syndrome always wins because they'll tear your head off right. <laughs> they got autistic that. guys have like manners and yeah. shit that down syndrome strength rich yeah. Voss is so dumb that he's like one of those animals in the wilderness <laughs> who are like they have a, a pattern on their fur that looks like a, a plant that another yeah. animal wants to eat <laughs> but then they have a stinger that gets you once you try to eat it yeah, yeah. and so like oh here's an idiot let's just attack him yeah, Rich Voss is like he, a bee. Yeah. He's like, I'll fucking sting you, and then, oh, I die. I forgot. Exactly. Did, you, did you see that? Uh, really? <laughs> did you see that uh, clip, a very recent clip of Louis getting mad at Rich Voss? It's like 30 seconds long. No. Where, where uh, Louis is just like explaining something, and then Rich Voss is like, yeah, no, that's like uh, when you book at a uh, at a club, and uh, the club you show up, it's, you know, and and then they sort of just start to move on, and Louis just immediately jumps in. He goes, no, nobody knows what you mean, Rich. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense. You're a very dumb man. And he's like, yes, it does because of this. And you're like, God, this guy from NASA, because they're with a guy from NASA, and he's like, he, this oh, guy from yeah. NASA has literally has never talked to anyone as stupid as you mm-hmm. yeah. in, in 20 years. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, the guy yeah. with the mustache who does all the viral videos. The yeah. guy's saying space oddity on the, on the fucking huh? satellite. Space Oddity? David Bowie? No, no, no. The, <laughs> the astronaut. The astronaut, he sung Space Oddity and it went viral. He was on the spaceship. And oh, he, he did? Yeah. What are they? There's fucking, uh, would NASA stop fucking wasting our money for their little dream? Mm-hmm. They're all playing cowboys and Indians up in the sky. We get it. We went to the moon enough. Yeah. We're not living there. We're going to die here. <laughs> and that's final, I hate assholes. All the, I hate all the Terraform Mars stuff because it makes no sense to me. Like, why wouldn't you just fix Earth? That's like got to be a thousand times easier than right. It's making it's, a whole other planet Earth. It's as if it's the elitist solution mm-hmm. to we'll let everyone die on Earth and mm-hmm. we'll fly up to Mars and we'll live in bubbles. Yeah, I guess like so. the Martian or whatever. Yeah. I love the margin. How did he do that? How did he live up there? I don't get it. He had like a big, all he did was he had like a canopy. He was like, a botanist. I, I thought you had to have like That's oxygen true. and stuff, but all he had was like a canopy. It looked like he was in Joshua Tree. <laughs> he's on Mars. He used the power of science. Yeah, he's like fucking up there. He's just, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, he had uh, oxygen and then he uh, was a botanist. So he took manure. And he was shitting. All no, he the took the, like, because you have to shit in, in a spaceship and it yeah. gets stored somewhere. Took it, used it as fertilizer. Ate the shit. (laughs) Used it as fertilizer. That would be me if I was in that scenario. (laughs) Just eating the shit and drinking my own piss. (laughs) Just acting like you're lost in the woods. (laughs) They would finally (laughs) rescue. They would finally rescue me, and my bones would be all warped, and I like I couldn't walk anymore. (laughs) I cut my own balls off in a haze one day. (laughs) They're like, you had six hundred pounds of potatoes. Like we found a bunch of rocks you shaped like a big fat woman <laughs> that he had sex with. <laughs> All you do is f- jerk off, eat shit, and drink this. <laughs> I know, yeah. I'm like a retarded guy just in the apocalypse. Yeah, it's the Martian, but he's just, he's fucking on Pornhub the whole time, just jacking off and eating his shit. Yeah, that's how they discovered me. That we found somebody who keeps watching um, BBW porn <laughs> on the old Land Rover. They're like, so he's he's stuck on Mars. There's a whole boardroom of people. Like, how do we get him out of there? Like, what's he doing now? He's he's trying to survive. And he, he's playing Counter Strike. <laughs> <laughs> he's eating his own shit and playing Counter Strike. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. He's on he's on Twitch. He's actually getting a lot of followers. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> he's huge. They love watching him drink piss and then play Counter Strike. <laughs> And then jerk. He's now one of those jer- weird jer- guys who pops up on your your TikTok page. Yeah, <laughs> who just lives in the middle of the country and has a horrible You're life. You're like, where does this guy live? And everyone's like, that's the Mars guy. <laughs> what a hack. <laughs> <laughs> FYP my ass <laughs> for your page. Suck my ass. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Show me 17 year olds with huge tits. Dumb for you page. <laughs> <laughs> I want the real Sydney Sweeney, not the one they pretend is 17. <laughs> <laughs> is Sydney Sweeney. Oh, uh, Sydney Sweeney. Uh, All right, man. let's call it. Let's wrap let's it up. Take, Joey, take do you have any announcements to make? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I do. 
I've been waiting all episode for this. I can mm. tell you were a quiet. You were another. You were quiet, a quiet, a mouse. quiet weirdo the whole episode. Wait, just waiting to uh, unleash your ejaculation. On the everybody. riffs were coming in so rapid fire and so hot that I just didn't. Um... <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh yeah, the video crashed. The video crashed because it's literally so hot. Yeah, should we maybe hit stop record maybe before we, that uh, crash? Uh, yeah, yeah. say stop. Okay. And you know, I, yeah. All right. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's that. <laughs>